Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosemary. This is Rosemary's You Rock Art. If you are returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. I truly appreciate it. If you are checking this out for the first time, I hope you stick around. Please consider hitting that subscribe button, like, comment, share, and hit that bell so you're notified anytime I upload a new video. Welcome to Mish Mash Monday. Okay, so on Saturday when I did my collective haul, I forgot to include my thrift store haul. So uh, take a look at this. I want to share some thrift store finds. Okay, so uh, my sister and I got together last week and she brought me a bag of goodies. Uh, she loves thrift store shopping and why she went without me, I have no idea. But she did and she picked up some things she thought I might like. She... Let me bring it all over here. She picked up, I love the Coca-Cola polar bear. So she picked this little Coca-Cola polar bear up for me. And I don't know what she paid for it, but I know she doesn't pay much for anything. She saw this set of greeting cards and picked these up. I think they're so cute with the corresponding envelope. Let me just kind of show you all of these. They're so cute. Even if I don't use them as greeting cards, I love the images on them, but I do love the greeting cards. They're get well cards and happy birthday cards. Look how sweet those are. Oh my gosh. And look at this one. It's amazing what, if you dig, what you can find at thrift stores. So she found those greeting cards. She also found these sticker books. Uh, what and oh yes the price is on here oh gosh I can't read it um, let me show you the price of this sticker book right there and I was looking through this sticker book and there's a few stickers on the first page that are missing but that is it so I thought those will be fun for anything I love stickers you know sometimes these flat stickers uh, I put on packages, envelopes, and stuff like that. Let's see, there was one more page I missed. There we go. So, anyway, uh, yeah, she's always picking me up some fun, fun stuff. Then there was this sticker pack. Look how perfect that is. Yeah, I really like these. And these ones uh, seem to be all in the book. So let me do just a quick, quick flip through of these. Aren't these precious? They're perfect. So I'm going to keep them out right there. So when I'm doing uh, cards, envelopes, uh, packages, I can stick these on and use them. They're kind of perfect. Yeah. So, and then they're all there. And then let's see. I think that was the last one. Yep. And then here is the price that I think she paid for it. All right. I think that's the price. Okay. She also picked up this box. And it's a um, paper origami set. It's all in there. All the paper is in here. Let me see if I know what she paid for this. Uh, there is not a sticker on here, but I bet it wasn't very much at all. So you get the booklet. You get the booklet and how to put all these flowers together. You get, and this, this has never been touched, all the papers in here. All this paper. And then you also get the other little bit of paper. I don't know how you do these, but I'm going to be passing this on to my dear friend Janet, who is, you know, loves loves to do this kind of thing. Someone had tried to do, this would be my attempt, <laughs> tried to do the little flowers, I think. So uh, I'll leave that in there and along with the book, the instructional little book. So that's kind of a cute set. So she brought that over to me. Then she also picked up, let's see, oh, she also picked up some, I think they're Avon bottles. They don't say, but I think they are, this boot. I'm going to package this up and set it aside for my dear friend Gail over at Gail Patricia Dollar Tree Halls and More. She is a boot lover. Yeah, so I'm going to, I love that. I, I uh, saw that and I thought of her. Now, you know, the lid isn't perfect because I think this is kind of old, but I'll set that aside for Gail. The other 
a bottle, and my sister thinks it's a Navon bottle, is this seahorse. And I think it's cool. Very, very cool. Okay, those are the items my sister brought over. And then she and I went to a thrift store that when I walked in, I'm like, wow, my sister said these uh, prices at this thrift store that this um, lady is running is super, super reasonable. And I'll show you that in just a second. I got to talking to the lady that runs the this uh, thrift store and, um, uh, you know, her whole purpose was to just pass on goodies that other people uh, don't need and, and other people can use. And her name is Tara. So uh, I'm definitely going to go back. I'm going to uh, donate things that I can't use and pass them on to someone else. But uh, I really enjoyed this little shop. It's nearby. Well, nearby for me. And so I, uh, like I said, I was just really intrigued by her, her uh, thrift store. So I got this little uh, photo album. As you know, I pick up photo albums and I stick die cuts in here uh, and then send them off in friend mail. Ten cents. Ten cents. And I have fun ideas about how I can embellish the front. I also picked up, I happened to find a few sheets of these uh pocket protectors let's see I think I got five so okay so this is gonna be what I picked up so this little photo album these five pocket protectors so you can do pocket letters so five of those and they have the nine pockets then I picked up a, a pack of these um, labels so those are uh, uh, yeah for uh, uh, return labels so and I think I would say most of them are in there so that's kind of fun then I picked up this adult coloring book now I do not I can't do this um, just because it's too tiny but and there's a few pages that are marked in there but I will uh, pass this on to someone that enjoys adult coloring uh, again it's not perfect it's not brand new or anything like that then I found this cute jar and I hope you guys can see it is a toucan bird. It is really, really cute with the uh, lid. And um, I, I cleaned them up on the, in, on the outside, so I will uh, clean them up. But I thought this would be fun to put some goodies and send it off in friend mail. It's cute. It's really cute. So I got that. Um, I got a couple of cases that hold cassettes because I was really struggling to figure out how to store my ink pads. Well, since then, I found some containers that are super cool from Dollar Tree that work. Uh, however, I am uh, asking uh, all of you to help me find some more. But anyway, in the meanwhile, I had bought some of these cases uh, that hold cassettes and they didn't work because they weren't tall enough. And so I bought two of them. Each case was a dollar. And so if they didn't work out, which they did not, um, it didn't matter. It, it wasn't no big loss. So all of that I uh, purchased for three eighty. That's how reasonable. Oh, there was one more thing. I it's sitting right here, and I didn't even show you. So the other thing from this thrift store that I bought is this Ziploc baggie full of paper scraps and I'll use these to die cut there's holiday papers there is just a bunch of bunch of paper and I bet I didn't pay a quarter for it it was you know just different scraps that I can use for different die cuts like I said there's there's holiday paper plain paper just stuff like that so yeah have fun Okay, so yeah, I'll be going back to the thrift store. So that was kind of fun for me and my sister to pop in. It was fun to meet the owner of this thrift store. And I wish I uh, had the name of the store to say hello to uh, my new friend, Tara. But uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't get it like a, a store name. But I know where it's at and I will return. And I will donate items for her thrift store. All right, that's my thrift store haul and that those are the goodies that my sister shared with me. I was inspired once again by Sheila over at Country Girl First Crafts. Uh, she showed these mirrors that she 
embellished and I thought oh those look like a lot of fun so I picked up a couple of mirrors a little while back at Dollar Tree and let me show you how I embellished these started out with this mirror now the other side is just the mirror so I added a butterfly I added the word smile which is all a sticker some uh, flowers that are dimensional and then uh, some more stickers and gems uh, let's see yeah some stickers and gems show you that and then what I decided I wanted to put a bow here so this bow is not hot glued or anything to this mirror you can take it off from this side take it off put it in your hair and then store it right back on the mirror now on the other side of the uh, bow i put some gems let me put the mirror down some gems right there on the clip side so here is the bow you can stick it this way actually i put it this way so put it back on and you can store your bow right there so okay and then at the bottom I put some gems on that side and that side so that's how I embellished this mirror okay this next mirror was a bright bright neon green and I just absolutely loved it so again I added some flowers and some gems the word laugh uh, dragonfly again I added the bow and some gems on this side and this side and then the bow comes off so you can wear it in your hair and then on the other side of the bow where the clip is there's some gems so let me see if you guys can there you go so again you can use the mirror to check out how your bow is in your hair and if you're done wearing it stick it right back on your mirror so there is my two mirrors inspired by my sweet dear friend Sheila over at Country Girl First Crafts. So that's my project share that I have for you today. Thanks for joining me on Mishmash Monday. Be safe, be happy, be positive, and until next time, you guys rock.